Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Fast Expand and Game Social. My name is Chris Ivemy, aka Tetcher, and today I'm here with one of the casters for the ESET UK Masters, Lurlian. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on. And now I'm going to want to talk to you about the whole event that we're here for, mm -hmm. what you're casting. But first things first, you were here casting last event. Yeah. How did you get involved with ESET? How did it come around that you came to cast the last event? Yeah, that was really all because of another caster that we have here, John Sargent, Jorosar. I'm sure you have interviewed him before, you know who he is. And he was uh, asked to do I-47, but he couldn't because he had some other international events. And back in the day, we were casting together a lot uh, for a different company named Playham. And he was like, well, Lurlian is, is around. I know he's available. I know he wants to do live events. Uh, I'm going to recommend him. So he recommended me, and that's how I, how I got here. They, uh, they had never worked with me before. And since then, you've basically been doing almost everything for ESET. You've been doing all the ESET show matches. Um, what else have you done? I've done the ESET show matches, the qualification, of course, leading up to I-48. I've also been casting uh, a little bit for Playham, but they went sort of dark. Yeah. They're kind of disappeared. That's unfortunate. But I have been doing little things on the side. I've done uh, some Swedish lands who like had Swedish casters present, but also wanted to cater to an international audience. And yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. Okay, so you were at the last I series, as we did yeah. said, which was for ESET. This one, they have obviously stepped up the game, but what do you think of how they've changed it between the last event and this event? I think a lot of things have changed for the better. I mean, they've got some, some really top-notch casters here now. Uh, the prize pool is a lot bigger. Uh, there's a few Koreans here. Uh, things seem to be managed better. I mean, we had a few issues this event with the internet, which were a little bit out of our hands. But other than that, it's been an okay event, had a few delays, but it's been better overall, for sure. Okay, so you say like the caliber of player and the caliber of casters has been better from all the foreigners coming over, but... How, what do you think of how the UK players have been performing? Do you think that they've risen to the challenge of the foreigners coming over? Definitely. A few of them really having, having breakout performances. A few UK players, but also a few... Um, someone like Mouse Hero Marine also having a really breakout performance. He's going to be playing in the semi-finals. And, you know, it's just a big performance. And, of course, Johnny Rico doing exceptionally well in this tournament, going, uh, unfortunately being eliminated, but putting up a really good fight. It's amazing. That guy is really uh, a talent, really promising. Now, you've mentioned those two players, but who else would you say that people really need to look out for? Who's just really caught your attention this I-Series? Uh, it's not been so much the Koreans. They were a little bit disappointing. I mean, you have seen some of the games. They didn't all end up uh, winning as convincingly as we thought. I mean, not a single Korean ended first in their group, I believe. So that's, that's stunning, really. Um, it's basically been Johnny Rico and uh, Mouse Hero Marine that really surprised me. Also, Baby Knight doing really good. But other than that, that, yeah, that's basically the three players that really stand out for me that have performed better than I expected them to. So from a non-biased point of view, mm -hmm. who is your money on? Hypothetically, if you could influence the result, who would your money be on? If I could influence the result? Yes. Like, so, who, who, do like I who, who do you think is going to win and who do you want to win? Well, in the current situation, I think uh, Baby Knight or Snoot has a good chance, but we also have two Terran players. Like, it's very hard, very hard to, uh, to predict. Sting, of course, being a Korean, probably has the best chances, realistically. But I'm really hoping for a Hero Marine to win. If that guy wins this, 15-year-old German player, going to one of his first big events, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be sick. That would be really good. And Hero Marine definitely came in as one of the underdogs for this tournament. And he's really performed well. Like he's, as you said, he's exceeded everyone's expectations and has yeah, just yeah, has. performed so well. So tell us about your casting experience for this I-Series. You say everything's been stepped up, but how, what has your work schedule been like? Work schedule has been really good today because there's you know, a limited amount of games and we don't have double streams, so that's okay. But on the four, first day, it was basically me and Maddles uh, casting the entire BYOC. On the second, ga second day, we were doing the other stream. You know, we had two casters yes, per sure. stream, so double streams. So there was a lot of casting going down, like eight, nine hours per day. Can become a little bit taxing, but we were done early enough, we could sleep enough. 
it was good. They even bought us lunch and made sure everything was ready and good to go. So the only thing we had to worry about was the games. So um, uh, what other, what else? Have, yeah, sorry. What uh, what else at I series do you really enjoy? Like, there's obviously the games, but what most people say is they really enjoy the social aspects. Mm -hmm. What have you just really found that you enjoy at I series? Yeah, I, I come. I came back to I series for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm joking. Obviously, there's like what one in twenty is a is a girl around here. But no, the social aspect is definitely there, and it might not be in the form of attention from females, but it is in the form of. Uh, fans. I mean, I took a few pictures with fans. There were a few contests that people competed in. There's this guy who came up to me who just left uh, going back home and he said, thank you uh, for making this experience uh, what it has been for me. It's, you made it so much better. It was fun hanging out with you and interacting with you. And that, you know, really made my day to help someone have a good, have a good weekend, have a great weekend. That is brilliant, basically. Yeah, it it, it iSeries is fun. all about having fun, basically. And with the introduction <coughs> of ESET has made it a lot more professional as well, a lot more competitive. So it's got one of the most perfect mixes, I think. Would you agree? Yeah, I think it's got a really great mixture. I haven't been to too many big international events as a spectator, so I can't really give my opinion on the, you know, is it better than other events? But from what I've experienced, it's been great. All right, now I think we are wrapped up. So before we sign off, is there any shout outs you would like to give anyone you would like to thank? Yeah, I would, thank, I would like to thank um, ESET for bringing me here. Of course, they're doing a great job providing a sponsorship for this tournament. Without them, I wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be here, probably. So a lot uh, riding on that. Of course, follow Liquid Red on Twitter. Can't forget about that. That guy needs some more followers. And other than that, uh, it's been a pleasure being here. Thank you for interviewing me. All right, well, thank you for coming on, Lurlian. And if you would like to see more content like this or just some other great content about StarCraft in general, then please stay tuned to youtube.com forward slash fastexpandtv.